I'm a green flag, right? Well, for someone. What? For some you want to go with me? Nope. If you were single? Nope. That hurts my feelings, dude. That hurts my feelings. There's some things that girls say to reject guys. Uh, yeah, for sure. We should hang out later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We should do that another time. Yeah. That'd be so much fun. This would be better off as friends. Oh, that's the best one. What are people's first impression of you? Some people can find me intimidating because of my height and my build. What is your first impression on this guy? He looks broke. He looks broke. <laughs> yeah. Women love rejecting men. They love it. They put on their best wig. They put on their best outfit. They put on their best shoes. Their best makeup. Go to the club just to tell you no. Just to tell you no. No cap. They make a whole dating profile with their best pictures. Write a whole bio just to swipe left. Excuse me. Uh, you think I, you think I can get your number and take you for a shot or something? No. <laughs> no. I mean, what if what if I, I just really really took you Ask out and drink or something? Ask her. I'm sorry about your I'm sorry about your friend. You know, we wasn't really trying to get into nothing with her. But I mean, if we if we really could. Try to get something, you know, like a little drink with you. I, I really thought you was a prettier one. If you can actually get me one, yeah. I can sure do yeah. Like, sure. Yeah, we'll go to whatever club you want. Can I get your number? <laughs> I can no, get your no. number? Can I get your Instagram? <laughs> cool guy. I wake up and the titties is tittying. Hey. <laughs> Can't relate to the titties tittying. Paige, can I uh, talk to you for a sec? Go away, Adam. Yeah, she doesn't want to talk to you. Okay. Sorry. Think about where you are right now. Are you attracting the kind of woman you want? Or are you stuck in a circle of confusion wondering why she is not into you? You think you are doing everything right. Couple with the fact that you are a nice guy, agreeing with everything she says, just to keep the relationship at peace. But the whole doubting question is, where has that gotten you? Well, here is the harsh reality about it all. What Sigma women want is far more simple but yet very complicated to what you think they may be agreeable to. These women are looking for something real, something raw, something masculine. And that's exactly what we're going to dive into today, without further ado. Number 1. Be a man of your word. The power of trust. This one is highly important. It's all about being a man of your word. Because honestly, if you can't be trusted to keep your word, why should she respect you? Why should anyone, for that matter? I understand life happens, things come up, and plans change. But if you are the kind of guy who is constantly bailing, constantly coming up with excuses, constantly breaking promises when needs arises, then stop it. It is not a good look at all. Think about it. Every time you break your word, you're sending the message that she can't rely on you. And if she can't trust you with the small things, how could she ever trust you with the big ones? How could she respect you when she can't even respect your own commitments? Not keeping your word makes you lose respect from everyone, not just the girl you want. And believe me, this aspect matters. Number 2. Be dominant. Hold up your place in the relationship. I'm not talking about being a dictator or certainly treating women poorly. It is not what we are here for. Dominance, in the right way, is a masculine trait that women secretly love especially Sigma females. What I mean by dominance is having the courage to take charge, to make decisions, to lead, to provide and protect when needs arises. Having the guts to take initiative, whether that's planning a date or guiding a conversation. Again, it's all about balance, so I really don't mean controlling or overpowering her, but showing her that you're not just a passenger in life. You're the damn driver. Don't get it wrong, dominance is not about telling her what to do or making all the decisions without considering her. That's not dominance, that's being an ass. True dominance is stepping up to the plate when the situation calls for it, making decisions for the good of both of you, leading with kindness and respect. However, when you're dominant, it communicates that you're capable, you're reliable, you're a leader, and let's face it, that's attractive. It gives her a sense of security, a feeling that she is with a man who knows what he's doing. Number 3. Have a masculine feature. Masculinity includes personality, appearance. If you want to know more about how to appear masculine, then the link to the video in the description below is you. But don't go freaking out if you don't look like Jason Momoa or Henry Cavill or Chris Hemsworth. That is not what it's about. It's not about having sharp features or a sharp jaw. It's about how you carry yourself, how you express yourself. 
When I say a masculine feature, I'm talking about the character glued into your personality features. It's the strength in your eyes, the honesty in your smile. It's the way that your face tells a story of who you are. If you're a man of sincerity, the words, I promise you will reflect in your eyes. If you're a man of strength, the power shows in your jawline. If you're a man of kindness, the selflessness shines in your smile. You don't need to be a model to have a masculine face. You just gotta be the best you can be. This is taking being comfortable in your own skin to a quite literal level. And guess what? Women love it. Number 4. Being a carefree. You might believe that women desire men that are constantly preoccupied, anxious, hardworking, and concerned with everything. That is so untrue. Stress is unpleasant. It makes you appear weak and namby-pamby. Men that are carefree are more attractive to women. Don't confuse carefreeness with being negligent, reckless, or even lazy. This conversation is not about that. Being carefree is not being bothered by the minor insignificant issues that life presents. It isn't allowing a traffic jam, an offensive remark, or a missed bus to spoil your day. This appeals to women because it shows resilience and strength. You will constantly face difficulties in life. Either you can learn to go along with the crowds or you can spend your days worrying about it. That is what being carefree is all about. Instead of complaining about how life doesn't always go your way, you learn to adapt. Moving forward, this mentality is encouraging. It gives energy. It demonstrates to a woman that you are not easily distracted by little things. It assures you that you are going to be able to withstand the road bumps. And that toughness is really alluring. When a Sigma woman sees a carefree man, she sees a leader. She sees a man who won't crumble under pressure. She sees a man who can navigate the storm while keeping a cool head. That is what women want. That is who they're attracted to. So, learn to let go of the small stuff. Learn to shrug off the minor inconveniences. Be the guy who laughs in the face of adversity instead of stressing about it. Your attitude in these situations reflects your ability to handle bigger challenges in life. Number 5. Be willing to change, adapt, and evolve. Finally, the last piece of the puzzle, the willingness to change. The truth is, the world is in constant motion. Everything changes, everything evolves, and if you're stuck in your ways, refusing to budge, refusing to grow, you're not going anywhere. And guess what? She'll see that. She'll see you stagnating while the world moves on. And that, my friend, is the quickest way to lose your respect. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm not telling you to change who you are. You don't gotta rebuild or bury yourself from the ground up. I'm talking about the ability to adapt, to learn from your mistakes, to take on new challenges and to constantly strive to be a better version of yourself. And that's the kind of change that'll command some respect. If she sees that you're willing to listen, to learn, to evolve, it speaks volumes about your character. It shows that you are not afraid of change. It shows that you're resilient. It shows that you're ambitious. And above all, it shows that you respect yourself enough to continuously work on becoming the best version of yourself. Respect isn't something that's handed to you on a silver platter. You gotta earn it. You gotta show her that you're not just any other guy. You're a man who values himself. You're a man who respects himself, and when you do that, she's gonna have no choice but to respect you back.